Hey, we want to welcome you guys here to Union Titan High School basketball here as the Titans host the Mountain View Thunder on EPS Sports here. Ryan Vasby and along with me, Rodney Lawrence, here to bring you your first uh, varsity game of the 2023 season. Um, looks like we are going to get set here to have the national anthem and then uh, they'll uh, announce the starting lineups and we'll get into this, uh, this basketball game here. Nice uh, rendition of the National Anthem by the two uh, Union Titan students here. We're getting set up here as they uh, announce the starting lineups. We're just gonna kind of go back and forth here a little bit as they go through that. Ryan, we, this is, like I said, this is our first game of, uh, of the season that we picked up here at EPS Sports. We generally don't pick up a, a lot of the preseason stuff before Christmas, but after Christmas, that's when we kind of pay, pay a little bit more attention because, you know, the games seem to the mean more, there's a lot more riding on them. Now we're, you know, we're, we're a month and a half away from, um, you know, playoff implications and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just like the NBA, you really don't care until after Christmas. <laughs> right. um, yeah. But but we're here, and we've got a great game ahead of us tonight. And so we've got Union, who's currently sitting 8-6. Eight, eight and six, And while the record doesn't show it, they're a very good basketball yeah, team. Yeah, it, it so sure does. They're, they're currently looking at number number 10 in the Washington State 4A division. Mm -hmm. So they're a very good basketball team. They've lost to two very good, tough teams. 
that are that are here in this league in uh, Camus and Battleground so yeah. far, yeah. and that's where their three league losses come from. And then they're up against a Mountain View team tonight, who's currently sitting overall ten and three, and they're five and zero oh in their division. Yeah, so. it sure is. Yeah, we will say both these teams uh, definitely um, GSHL uh, league players, but one is a three A, yeah. and one is a four A. So this is just a, a cross town rivalry game. Um, Neither one of these wins or losses are going to push either one of these teams closer or keep them from um, extended play. So this is just for bragging rights. They're about a couple of miles away from each other, and they all know each other. So this is just going to be like who's the best in the area. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's always a, a great time when you can get two schools into the same gym that are that – are, Good quality program, yeah. right? You come out and there's, good, you know, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be hard fought, and you know these guys have been looking forward towards it too. Because, like you said, a lot of these kids they grew up together. They played on the same club teams together. They yeah. played football against each other, most of them. And so, yeah, here it is. I mean, they want to win. And there's still some hurt feelings. I'm still from football too. That these basketball games, the guys are going to try to want to redeem themselves on. So, yeah, you absolutely. Know, you know, I do recognize a couple of these names on both rosters. Um, that were on, out there on the football field too, as well. Yep, so, yep. all right, here, here we go. Starting off with uh, the tip-off. Just to remind everybody, we are on channel three twenty-seven. I do believe the HD. Oh, I'm sorry, just a, just channel twenty-seven, not HD tonight. But we also, for the people out of the area, we are on Evergreen's channel YouTube, and uh, you can let uh, friends know near and far that they can. Uh, Pay attention to their favorite friends, families, nephews, and every and anything here uh, on that channel. A little cheerleader pom pom debris on the floor. Make sure they get that up. Don't want anybody to slip and fall on that. Leave it up to the cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Morshigi brings that ball out. Union comes out and starts this out in the zone. And we're going to look at a 2-3. Tries to drop that in. Mountain View's got their first turnover. Samari so Thompson brings that ball out. Thompson, the point guard, rolls back around. Find some room to the glass. Not able to complete that one. Another turnover by Mountain View. And not able to. Tried to get the dunk on the back end. That's going to be off the back of the rim. Sets up the three. Looks at it. Thinks better. He's going to pull a deep three. And that's going to be off the front. Mountain View there to get the rim. That is going to be... Holcomb brings that in. Thompson brings it out, hands that ball over to uh, Manville. Manville stops in the key, kicks it out for the three, and there you go. Union first on the board. Holcomb, big man, 6'6", uh, six, six sophomore, so Union definitely has some young people on the team that's going to be around a while. Mountain View still looking to try to get three points. And there's their three. That's going to be off the front. Rebound brought down. Runs the floor. Back to the point guard. This time he has got the bucket. Samir Thompson with the bucket. Mershigi to Varga. Varga back there. Mershigi looks at the three. That was a you. That was an NBA three. He was looking at. Kicks it all the way across. Not able to get that one. That one is going to be an air ball, and that'll be another turnover for Mountain View. Union has come out here tonight, and they've played absolutely great defense to start yeah. this game off. They really haven't allowed Mountain View to get a good shot off so far. They've contested everything. Right, they sure have. They sure have. And they're coming out playing a 2-3 zone. 
and, you know, kind of keep them from uh, getting anything there in the middle. So good job on their part. Head coach J.C. Alexander for Mountain View Thunder. Calls timeout, try to uh, get this figured out. 5-0 the score. 5.35 left to play in the first quarter. Union picks up half down full court, I should say. Full court press them. Gives them a look, and that's going to be off the rim. Right there for the putback is uh, Kobe Holcomb. And that is going to be an end one. And he is able to get three out of that one. Vargas now hands that ball off. That is going to be Morshigi. Vargas pulls up a deep three. And that is going to be a rebound there for Union. Thompson gets the ball to Holcomb. Holcomb spin moves. Not able to get it, but a rebound and trying to get a put back. Another Mountain View turnover. Looking to drop the ball right there to one of his players beside him. Nice job by Thompson. Not able to complete that one, though. Right back there to put it back. Not able to get that one as well. Union, great offensive rebounds at this point. Mountain View finally pulls one down. That is going to be by Ladarius Washington. Jacob Martin kicks that out to the outside. That is going to be off the Titans. And Mountain View is going to take the ball back. Trying to find open spots for the threes. Definitely looking for somebody open. That 2-3 is keeping everybody out of the paint. And that is the second time they've tried to drop that ball in. And it's been picked off as they try to break this 2-3 zone. The Titans are running. Takes a look at the three and buries it. Yeah, and if you're, you, you continue to run this 2-3 until they, until Mountain View can come out and prove that they can break it. Yeah, Because it's yeah. working. You'll let them shoot three-point three-pointers all night long. All, uh, yeah. Facilius hits that big three on that one. Tries to penetrate the defense every time they've tried that uh, Union defense has stepped in there and poked that ball back out. We're going to have a foul here. Facilius tries to get that one to the rim. And is going to get fouled. Jacob Martin, his first, team second. Twelve zero run here in the first quarter. Mountain View yet to put points on the board. Gianni Facilius gets both of them. Another turnover. And good defense as they poke that ball out. Not going to allow him to poke the two out because he had planned on dunking that one. You could tell by the way he took off. He was... He just didn't have full control over it as he's. Facilius. Union right now on fire, defensively and offensively at this time. 16 0 the score.
Vargas tries to get to the paint, kicks it out to Farmer. He buries a three for the first time. Trey Hughes, Farmer. That, oh, his line was his foot was on the line. We're going to give him two points on that one. Looks at it. Nice little jab set to get him off of him. Union there with the uh, rebound. That is going to be Baldazar who brings that in. And we got another three bucket right there. Kyle Holcomb. Holcomb, has that three threes for him already in this first half? Uh, two. Two of them? Two. Okay. Nice defense there on the Titans. Got two checking into the game. Tucker Dunseth checks into the game. Along with Grayson Stanley, number three and number 30. Takes it into the paint. He is going to get that shot blocked. Able to get the rebound back. And no bucket. Hustle points there for Mountain View, but not going to get the ball out of it. And here comes Thompson pushing the ball up the floor. Dunseth gets himself to the elbow, kicks it back out. Big three. Long rebound there by Facilius. But he's going to be on the line, and that's going to be the Thunder ball. Minute 15 left to play in the first quarter. 14 to two is the score. The zone defense seems to be giving Mountain View fits a good look at the three. That's going to be off the mark and pull down rebound there and that's going to be Evan Manvel. Dunseth pulls his three and he gets it. That's a fifth three-pointer for Union so far in this first quarter. We got a block player control foul. That's going to go against um, Jacob Martin. That's his, his second. first. That's his, That's his second team foul. Um, third team, second personal. Johnny Facilli has proven a hard man to stop here in this first quarter to get down to the last 20 seconds. Tries to drop it into the paint. Defense stiffens up that zone. Another turnover. Facilius again, and this time he is going to take a hard foul. They're not going to let him take that one all the way to the glass on him. He will pick up the foul. Gooman, he that's his first team fourth here. Silly shoots two. Makes the front end. And that one's gonna be off the mark. Rebound pushing the ball hard as they get down to the last. And that is gonna be a futile attempt as we end the first quarter here. 25 to two, that was definitely not anything we were expecting. No, not at all. I mean, you come out, I mean, it, you only score two points if you're Mountain View, that's tough. I mean, Union came out, they were playing some fantastic defense. Yeah. They were preventing anything to show up in the paint, but you gotta find a way to break that zone defense. You have to. Yeah, you, gotta call you, it you have out. to. You, you gotta figure something out because now you're sitting 23 points down going into the second quarter and Union's got all the momentum in their own house. Yeah, I mean, they gotta bring that big man. Ladarius Washington, 6'7", I mean, he is standing out there on the, on, the, on the edge of that zone defense and they're not able to get that ball down in there down into him down there um, on that lower box. They got to find a way to get it to him, kind of collapse that D a little bit and kick it out and let him get some good looks at threes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at Union, you're, you're taking a look. It's It's been the Cody Holcomb, Yanni Facilius show tonight. <laughs> I mean, Facilius already has 11. 
in the first quarter. Holcomb sitting there at uh, at nine. Yeah. I mean, that's night. That's twenty of the twenty-five <laughs> points that Union scored tonight. Yeah. Exactly. Those those are the two to stop right now, at least anyway. Vasily is not a small guy. Six five. They have him listed here on the roster. Definitely plays like he's a shorter he's, man, a smaller man than that. So, you know, definitely an athletic young man. Time we're going to get another block here. Take Gooman, that's his second. He's dropping down there. He tried to get down there and draw the charge. That didn't get down there in time. Get a little real time coaching by the uh, head coach there, Coach Alexander. Noah Frazier at the stripe to shoot his two. And it looks still didn't really see what was going on. The uh, union coach seems to have a whole lot to say. They're going to talk about it out there in the middle of the court, though, between the officials. Looks like they're debating about whether this, this foul happened on the floor. Or in the act of shooting. Okay, well, it looks like they decided it was in the act of shooting. They'll give him two. Fifth team foul to Union's zero team fouls. Not able to capitalize to capitalize on that, so they ultimately ended up being some pretty good defense there by Shield Team, ball don't lie. Mountain View. <laughs> exactly. And here we come back the other way. Let's look at the three decides against it. That's Dun Dunseth up top. Doesn't pull the three. Stanley's going to drive it all the way in. Nice ball movement to get that around that block. Isaiah Varga comes across to help. Not able to accomplish that as he's able to get that bucket. As a look at the three, and he is going to miss that one. Washington tries to save it, but that's going to end up in the hands of the Titans as they come back across. Dunces has a good look at it, and you can't give him that much room. It's a clean look, and he buried that one. That's his second of the night. Drops it inside. The first time they got something inside that didn't get uh, disrupted. And Darius Washington there with the uh, with the rebound. The foul is going to be on Dunseth, of course, first. Has the three, and there's Mountain View's first three-pointer of the night. Second bucket, and we've already we're in there. There's six minutes left in the half. Mountain View themselves now has moved to the 2-3 zone, but they cannot give those guys any room on that three-pointer. It's another one there for Dunseth. He's third of the night from behind the arc. Dribbles it into the paint, decides to bring that one back out. And we got another turnover as he was looking for Washington 
down there on the box, not able to get that to him, so a big turnover. Drops it down, that's Vasilius. And he is not gonna be able to compliment. All right, we got substitutions here. Baldwin's are Holcomb, and it looks like Manville come into the game. Tries to get that ball dropped. Another poke in the turnover there. Swings looks at it. Tries to get the dunk on the alley-oop. Not able to complete that one is uh, Yanni Facilius. Thompson tries. He's going to get that one swatted away there by Ladarius Washington. Good look there by Washington trying to get that to into Facilius. He just wasn't able to, to complete that one and knock it down. He couldn't bring it in. You think he needs playing a little loose right now? Yeah, you yeah, just having, a bit. You think they're having some just fun? Just a bit. Another turnover there by the Titans. Another open look, uncontested look at the uh, three. Not able to bring this one down. I put that one down this time. Samir Thompson. Thompson picks up his first team foul here. I mean, the first personal, second team. Catch and shoot, and that is going to be off the glass. That's uh, first personal, third team. It's Evan Manville who gets that one. And we got a 30 second timeout here. I mean, so Union's coming down and they've continued to be dominant into the second quarter as we finish out the half. The problem is. Well, it's not necessarily a problem, but something that they need to be very mindful of is how do you make sure you don't let Mountain View back into this basketball yeah. game? Yeah. Because they have gotten loose. They are having fun out there, but they haven't scored in several minutes either. Yeah, so, they sure have. Yeah, you're right. So, you're so right. how do you prevent Mountain View from coming down and creating the 10-12-0 run, and all of a sudden they're back into this back into this game by the second half? Yeah, that that is uh, that's a good that's a good call out there. You could definitely see. Uh, the momentum and the swag with the Titans right now, trying to do an alley oop dunk on them and all that type of stuff. And I, the thing is, is they're just getting good looks yeah. on the threes. I, yeah. I mean, Mountain View actually changed their defense. It looked like right before the the um, this last time out, they they went away from man and uh, and they actually are running a, a three two zone themselves. So we'll, we'll kind of see what uh, that hasn't worked in their favor either because they're leaving the threes open now. So we'll see how they. Uh, how they try to figure this out. Their big man has essentially been quiet all game. Another turnover. It's a big block there by Jacob Barton. Yeah, it sure is. Mishandled by Thompson, and that's going to bring the uh, Mountain View Thunder going back the other way. And um, nice little pass. Big man right there on the elbow. Not able to get that, but uh, got a rebound. And the first bucket's there. For Ladarius Washington, who is their big man and their big scorer. Yeah. 
Mountain View has moved to a 3-2 zone themselves. They get their first defensive pick, but they're going to turn the ball over again. And we get a timeout call by the Titans. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Good hustle play. By the, the, uh, the Titan guard there, Samir Thompson. Yeah, it's good to hustle if you're Mountain View. You have to figure out how to continue to get Ladarius Washington. Oh, uh, yeah, into the game. He, into the game, into the ball. He's, he's one of the tallest guys out on the floor. So how do you start running an offense through him? Yeah, yeah. Okay, going with a smaller lineup after the break here because uh, – Washington now on the bench, getting a breather. Both teams now running zone defenses. Dropped it in. Nice crash there by the defense for the Union Titans. Just not giving them good looks at all. Making everything tough. Nice take. Holcomb with a nice move to the basket. Wilson trying to get that into the defense, not able to. Looking for his man right there on the elbow. Swings it back around. Wilson back out. Chamorgi trying to get it. Does get it in there. And nice little uh, quick little bucket there. That's Jack Johnson. Mountain View in a 3-2 defense with the big man 6-5 guy right up front. And the Kareeds create some uh, disturbance there. Turnover there for the Union Titans. Mitch Radigan now checks in as the point guard. Samir Thompson takes a breather. Defense crashes the ball on him. Yanni. Tries to put that in on a nice little layup, not able to finish that one. Nice move it there by Isaiah Vargas. Worked his way into the paint and just kind of popped that one in there. Gonna be Holcomb, we got a turnover. Pushes that ball up the floor. And we're going to get a blocking call here. It's going to be against number 10. It's going to be Mitch Radigan, his first, team fourth. Isaiah Vargas makes it to the stripe. Gets the bucket and is shooting one. And he's able to put the... Uh, Threes on the end of that. Radigan walks the ball up the floor. 23 seconds left to play in the half. Union on top, 35 to 14. Like they'll look for one more shot as they uh, run this out. Dunsmith gets open on the three and he buries it. You cannot leave that young man open. And. That is going to end the first half of play here with the Union Titans just coming out of three-point land here to make this game way out of reach in this first half. 38-14. This is EPS Sports. That was a great first half of basketball. We hope we're going to have some excitement here in the third half. Chalk Talk is we're going to see who's going to win this Chalk Talk and come back in third quarter. Coach Alexander has got some real good stuff to talk about to kind of get these guys back into this game. We'll see you at three. Exciting.
Evergreen Pulpit Schools resides on the traditional lands of the Chinookan people and the Cowlitz tribe. We have lived on and cared for this land and its waterways since time immemorial. But the thing I am most excited about are the chairs. Yeah, yeah, very funny. No, seriously. You may think I am weird or exaggerating, but call me whatever you want. That's my favorite part. I have back problems, but when I first sat on those chairs, all those <laughs> chairs, if you press back on them, they bend back, and my back felt so good. I could sleep in them if I wanted to. And the view through those windows from where I sit is perfect. To you, they are trees. To me, they are nature's beauty. There are three things I'm excited about. I'm riding a bus to school now. My classroom's big windows have sunlight coming through. And lastly, my new classroom is bigger than is a bigger room than our last classroom. Burn Dragons, this space was created for you. You have always been shining stars, and now the building area is shining as well. So. For many of you, this might be your first ribbon cutting ceremony, and you may be wondering why we have a tradition of cutting a ribbon when opening a new school. Similar to slicing a wedding cake, throwing a cap into the area upon graduation, or removing a ribbon from a gift, the act of cutting a ribbon into two pieces symbolizes the idea of new beginnings and builds anticipation for a bright future. This is a new beginning for us. Same wonderful staff, same amazing students, and same supportive community, but a new building to enjoy. Our Burton Dragons have an exciting future ahead, and we are so grateful for all of you that made it possible. All of you are the first students to ever learn at the new Burton. You're the first probably of the next 50 some years. We build these schools to last, let me tell you. The first of the next 50 years of students to be here and grace these halls and put in the work that we know that you will. Do you know why you're here? Let me tell you what I, why I think you're here. I think you're here because your community loves you. They love you so much that they voted to tax themselves to give money to be able to build this beautiful school for you. What do you think about that? Isn't that great? Yes! Your community loves you. We love you. We're so happy that you could be here in this beautiful brand new space. And now is the time you've all been waiting for, and this is where you get to make a lot of noise. You get to make some noise, and we're going to cut ribbons and, and do that thing. So, yeah! Here's a look at how you can keep up to date with Evergreen Public Schools on social media. Check out our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Evergreen PS. Follow us on Twitter at Evergreen PS. Our Instagram account is Evergreen underscore public underscore schools. And check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Evergreen Schools. drug dealer and I'll be your sub today. Can you see anything different as a pill? No. No. You don't know? Fentanyl is being mixed into everything now. There's only one thing that will save somebody's life. That is naloxone nasal spray. Fentanyl is cheap, it's potent, and it's profitable. Why would drug dealers put a lethal dose of fentanyl in drugs if they know it's so harmful? It's really just all about the money. I just didn't realize that one pill could change your whole life. More kitchen now. All righty, hey, welcome back here to quarter number three, Union Titans. 
Mountain View Thunder. This has been all the Union Titans here in the first two quarters. 38-14 is the score here. Um, you know, we kind of talked about what Coach Alexander could possibly have said to his boys to kind of help them, for once, not hold their heads down and try to feel like that there is an opportunity for them to get out of here and play. Yeah, I mean, you, you come out of the first half and you're down 24. I think the message is, hey, we have to execute. We have to chip away at this lead one, two points at a time. We don't have to get it all back at once. Right. But, but let's make a couple six, eight-point runs and start to chip away at this thing, and we're right back in it. Yeah, most definitely. Um, the big thing, you can't give these guys those easy looks at those threes. No. Union comes back out. They start this uh, second half here in the... The 2 3 defense that devastated Mountain View in the first two quarters. Time they're trying to get a little penetration. This time, able to get in. There we go. One off the glass. Nice little running jump shot. That is the first time they've broke that defense in this game. Mountain View returns the favor. They now show up with a uh, zone as well. 3 2, the big man, Ladarius Washington, on top. Swinging the ball around the horn. That is a big three. Um, their big man there to make the, uh, the nice little putback. That's going to be Evan Manville, also 6'7 out there on the floor. Moshigi looking to, look to get that ball inside. Has the three running layup, and he's able to get that one in as well. Already playing better this quarter than they did the last two. Mandel. Big three. That's going to be off the front of the rim. But not ever. I mean, calling every school in the, in the district here. Able to put that one back is Johnny. So, Selly. make that bucket. Three points the old-fashioned way. Mountain View looking to bring that ball around the horn. Big man down there in the on the box looking for the ball. Nice little penetration on the Union defense there. Mountain View's coming out looking a lot better in the second half already. Yeah. If they can continue to execute this offense. Their, their defensive stuff will come. Drops it in. And a dip the shoulder on that one as he uh, gets in there, and that's going to be Josiah Baldazar. So the big man kicks it back out, looking for some... Opportunity for a three, it looks like. Gives it to the big man. He's able to put that one back in to get his uh, second bucket of the night. Much better play there by the uh, Thunder in that quarter. Score 45-22, 5-29 left to play. Yeah, so, I mean, you've, you've traded buckets with, with Union. You've gotten a point back, so you haven't made much progress in that sense. But the biggest thing here is that you're, you're scoring yeah. But it's, you're, you're making points, and that will lead to things. That will lead to, even even if it's just a little bit of belief that they can go ahead and score, they can break the defense down, and that's going to be key. No, no, definitely. You just need a couple of stops because you, now you've seen uh, Union has pulled up some deep threes. Mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, they were making threes in the first half, but they weren't that deep. No. And, no. you know, now they're, you know, they're out there on the emblem trying to pull them now. So Union just has to um, be careful because that's how Mountain View creeps back into those games. Long rebounds and quick points. Another three missed by Union. This is the third one they've missed in a row now as we start this third quarter. They're starting to pull them a little further away from the arc than they did in the, uh, the first two quarters. Martin drops that in to the big man. Not able to finish as that bounces off the front of the rim. 
Here comes Mansville. And it looks like we are gonna have us a jump ball. Well, no, it looks like there's a foul here too. Let's see what they're gonna do. By 11. Kind of grabbed, kind of tripped, so that's uh, going to turn that over. Hitting that ball around the horn. Finds a way to get it into that ball. Is going to get poked out there as he takes it all away. Big man takes it all away. Nice put back there. And that's by Kobe Holcomb. Looks like we've got a player hurt. Maybe he got poked in the eye. That's what it looked like. That is uh, Isaiah Vargas. Trey Hughes Farmer will replace him. Number 20 as they... Uh, Kind of work with him, I'm sure, trying to get him back on the floor as soon as they possibly can. Well, that was a good little dish there. Yeah, it sure was. This, is, you notice, they are now trying. They are actually getting some penetration into that uh, into that zone now. Yeah, absolutely. They just got to be able to, you know, get some things going once they get in there. That foul is going to be against Manville. His first, team second. Washington unable to hit the front end of the two. Nice touch on that second one, brings up 23 points. Thinks about it. Tries to bring that into the key, kicks it out. Defense has gotten a little stingier, not giving them such good looks. And he's burying this one right as I say that. But that's Cody Holcomb. He has been the hot hand with the threes all game. He's probably leading the night with threes, isn't he? He's, he's actually not. That's his third. Tucker Dunseth has hit four tonight from behind oh. the arc. Oh, that's true. That's true. Take it all the way in, and that ball is going to get rejected by Vasali. Yanni Vasali, just a monster out there today. Nice athletic move by Vasali. Nice put back there by uh, Baldazar. Vasali's just so strong. He goes up strong every single time. Yeah. Gets that one into the big man. Nice move to the basket, unable to finish. Vasali putting his body on him, not making it real easy for him to get to the to the uh, to the rim on his shots. Jab step, nice little take to the hole. Good job there. That's by the big man taking him off the dribble. A way to rise up there and get that call. All right, Union's going to bring the ball down. Looks like we had a massive uh, exchange of players there. Dunsmith gets that ball out there. That is Burchette. Burchette kicks the ball all the way out to the far side. And nice three-pointer. Noah Frazier hits that one. Both teams look like they go to a smaller lineup. 
Give the big guys a rest. That ball's gonna try to get that one into Jack Johnson. Foul's gonna be on uh, Nick Burchette. It's his first, team first. Vargas back in the game. Jack drops it down to uh, the man down low, and that's going to be Jacob Martin with the bucket. Deep three by Dunsmith. This one's going to be off long rebound by Mountain View, but that ball's going to get taken. There we go, a nice strong move to the basket. I was wondering if they were gonna call us out. Grayson Stanley. Takes his life in his own hands as he goes down there in the paint and actually to get the, the wicked up and in there. Yeah, he, he willed that one in. In there, that was all effort all the way. It sure was. And that's gonna make it 60. Sixty seconds left to play in the third quarter. Looks at the three, and that is going to be a big miss. Long rebound there for the Union Titans as they bring that ball up the floor. Cardell is going to get pushed down the baseline. That ball is going to get taken away, then that's going to be my nice little handoff to Varga. Not able to get that one as he tries to dump it to Jackson, to Johnson, I'm sorry, Jack Johnson. Tries that three off the glass. Stanley now walks the ball up across midcourt. Defense comes out to meet him. Dunsmith looks at his three, and that's going to be in and out, and not going to be able to capitalize as the third quarter runs out. That was the Thunder's quarter, but they still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, this Union basketball team and how they've played tonight, they've shown some special stuff. Yeah. And, and to take a look at their record and where they're at, and the fact that they've lost the canvas, they've lost the battleground already down yeah. here in Southwest Washington. There's a lot of good basketball for us to cover to, yeah. as, as, as we finish the season out. And, and it's exciting to watch when it comes to the boys' side. This is the best basketball I've seen them play in a long time. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're playing some good ball right now. Just super athletic and, and, and springy, and you know what I'm saying? They're all over the court. I mean, they're two big men. I mean, you can't say enough about Gianni Faselli. 6'5", he's play, he plays like he's six foot six one. I mean, just agile, gets to the basket, you know. Um, and then we talk about um, th their other big man, uh, number 32, and that's um, Evan Manville. I mean, we just saw him take him off the dribble at the top of the key and take it all the way to the rack. Yeah, you know? but he only has four points tonight. <laughs> and so it's the stuff that he's doing off the ball yeah, that's yeah. absolutely phenomenal, and he's opening up his teammates and his, uh, and his other guys. Yeah, it sure is. sure is. Mountain View's got their hands full to probably pull this one out. All righty. Start of the fourth quarter here. Tight, Titan Gymnasium. Tries to step back for the three. Def defense uh, kind of squashes that. Wilson pulls it up. That's going to be off the front of the rim. Quick rebound there by the point guard. Darius Washington back in the game. Drops that down inside the D. 
Nice little defense, but unable. You know, if we had somebody watching the stats here on the offensive rebounds that the Titans have had, another steal and another hard putback. I tell you what, that Grayson Stanley, he, he fights for all his buckets, doesn't he? He does. He certainly does. Looks at the three, and that's going to be off the mark. Manville there to pick up the rebound. Nice job there. Just great ball movement, spacing on the floor, just knowing where all your teammates are. Nice assist there, Vaselli. Manville with the bucket. 61-25 is the score. Drops it to the big man for Mountain View. Vaselli all over him. He's going to have to kick that one back out. Union defense doing a great job down there as they crash on the big man when he gets the ball down there on the block. Shot clock to zero, had to force that one. Oh, turnover. Vaselli steals that from him anyway. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, the 6'5 guy. <laughs> you know, picking the point guard on the run. <laughs> yeah. This time Union, uh, Mountain View picked it out. They tried to get a set him up for another one, and there they got one on the other side as the LU dunk there for Ladarius Washington. See if that wakes up the, uh, the thunder crowd there a little bit. We'll wake them up. They've got a lot more of those that they need. <laughs> yeah. Step back for the three, and that is going to be off the rim. And that is going to be an air ball there. It's happened uh, a little too often for them this game. Yes. Just off their mark here all game long. This is the third time I've actually seen the Mountain View play, and uh, they're generally a lot better at scoring than this. But there's a lot to be said for with that Lockdown defense Union had on them in that first two quarters of the game, too. Another offensive rebound there for the Union Titans. That is another thing that is just uh, killing Mountain View. They've got to, there's no boxing out down there. Union yeah. is scrapping and, and pulling all the rebounds down, giving them two and three effort shots at the basket. Turn over there by Union as they push it up the floor. Jack Johnson tries to take it, and he is going to uh, go to the stripe to shoot two as uh, Evan Manville is called for the foul. Fourth team foul for the uh, Titans. Five team fouls on the uh, Thunder, so even calls here on both sides for the uh, when you uh, consider the officiating. All right, the Titans are going to sub out five, the entire squad, bring in a fresh set. Darius Johnson helps with that. Uh, drop step, trying to take that one to the rim. He's going to pick up that foul. Darius said uh, something that they should have been trying to do a long time ago is get that ball down to him on the paint. Nick Bruchette picks up the foul. That's going to be 15 foul, his second. Nice touch. 4.30 left to play in the game. Titans on top, 63-29. 
Drops it in. Fuhrer kicks it back out. It's going to be Stanley. Clean look for the three. In and out. Union there again. Offensive rebound, but turns the ball over, so Thunder comes back down the court. Wilson point guard tries to get that ball over to Trying to force that ball down to a Ladarius, not able to do so. They do pick up the foul. That is going to be on the ground, so they'll take that one out underneath. 16 foul for the Titans. Gets a look at the three, and that's going to be off the rim. And now we got a fast break there. Stanley with the rebound. I mean, with the layup. In the corner, Ladarius looks at it, decides not to. Look at the three, and that is going to be a big miss. They have just been missing their threes by a lot all night long. There's been too many of them that have just hit nothing. Yeah. Not glass, not iron, not net. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. So now Cooper White checks into the game. They're going to give uh, Ladarius Washington uh, a, a rest here. Noah Frazier gets that. Frazier now looks at the three, kicks it back to Stanley. Tries to take that one off the dribble, not able to. And that looks like that's going to be a Tyson Fuhrer again. That's his second. Team seven, so that puts him in the bonus, and they'll be at the stripe one-on-one. -on -one. ball down in the corner. And that's going to be a Mountain View Thunder turnover. He just gets uh, pushed right out of bounds. Good defense there to use the baseline to help. Stanley walks the ball up the court, gets picked up by Wilson. In the corner, that is Stanley, and he buries that one. <laughs> Running layup, hey, and he's going to get that one. Good job there. That is Madden Wilson. Running layup there. Third personal, 18 fouls. And uh, unable to make this three, Union comes up with the rebound. Gets it over to Frazier. Frazier pulls the three. Not able to get that one. And Thunder mishandles that uh, rebound out of bounds. Giving Titans a fresh shot clock and uh, the ball again under their basket. Stanley now trying to trap him. They're able to steal that one from him. Wilson looks at the three. Not able to do anything with that. As, uh, now Union's coming back the other way. Down in the corner, Bruchette off the rim. Fury there to bring in the rebound and kick that back out. Stanley, nobody's coming to contest him. 
And he buries that one. Made him pay for that. Mountain View looking for the three, not able to get that one. They do get their offensive rebound. Wilson off the glass, not able to get that one to go back in. Tries to put it back. He's going to get fouled there by Noah Frazier. Uh, that's one on uh, Frazier. Nine team fouls. So I get the crowd saying that's let's play football, but how do you think the basketball team feels about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they, we, we talked to the brigade. They are number they one in the three A division. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> right. Union just came out here and crushed those first two quarters, and just this didn't give them an opportunity. Yeah, I mean it's it's really unfortunate because. I think this Mountain View team is, is a very good team. Yeah, they yeah, they, they just, are. They just they they didn't are. have it tonight. They, they were off their mark, and, and when that happens and you play a Union team who had a great evening, you get a score that ends up yeah. with 71-33. I mean, those, those first two quarters were phenomenal. It was yeah. going to be hard for anybody to come back on that, you know what I'm saying? Um, credit to that defense they played up front. It was tight. They didn't have any ability to get through and do it, and, uh, you know, they just didn't have the opportunity to get back. They were hot with the three-pointers. I mean, they had five players, six players hit threes, you know. Yep. Um, and of those six, probably five hit more than one. <laughs> you know, you know, leaving the score at 71-33 yep, being the ending score here. We want to welcome everybody to the first games of uh, the new year. We're excited about bringing you some more games. Stay tuned on the, on the Evergreen website and actually in the Columbian that lets you know the games that we're going to be uh, – Broadcasting. This is EPS Sports. This is Rodney Lawrence and Ryan Vassbinder. And we'll see you guys next time. You have a great night.